So, in my living room, I have <laughs> gotta start here because the, the spatula was like all up in the screen and I didn't even notice it. This is horrible. What's up, plant people? My name is Stacia. For those of you joining for the first time and for those of you coming back, welcome back. So this is going to be my very first edition of I Drink and I DIY. I have a Monstera sitting in my living room that uh, gets a, needs a little bit of supplemental light because during the day it does get some east morning light, but about two o'clock it starts to dim down. So I have had this light hanging above it in my living room, not very aesthetic. So I watched a DIY not long ago where the girl, and I cannot remember who she is. I've tried to find her again. God knows I can't because I definitely wanted a refresher before I decided to do this, but whatever. So we're just going to see how this goes. Okay, so I've got my tools here. I have my Dollar Tree rope. I got a pack this size for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. I found it in the um, garden department. Uh, kind of a cool find. So I've got that. I have got my Phillips LED bulb. Let's see here. It is... 16 watt 5000 K full spectrum daylight grow light. Obviously I've shown you this already. I got that at Home Depot for $9.99. I've got my trusty basket here that I thrifted for $2.99 and we're going to actually make this be our lampshade. I have got my glue gun, hot glue gun. I've got scissors. And I have got a box knife. Dangerous. I'm probably going to get hurt. Kids don't try this at home. So, without a recent tutorial, and having seen this about four months ago, let's see how bad we can f*** this up, shall we? Okay, so, I have already, and I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, no, you can. Well, Inside here, I've already marked the lines where I'm going to be cutting the wicker from the inside to uh, allow the cord to go through. So, we are going to start here. Let's pray I don't get hurt. I have a feeling this isn't going to be as easy as I thought either. video just stopped. Not quite sure when, but whatever. We're just going to keep going from here. So, try this again. Now that I've made the hole a little larger. So, the idea is we're going to go through and figure out about how high in there you want your light to be. So I'm going to go up as far as I'd like it to be. And then I'm going to wrap around one and a half times to bring the cord back up through the top. So it kind of uses, it's almost like the hanger. It is the hanger. Not almost like it is. Okay, so. Almost back through. All right. All 
right, I think that's good. So, how the hell did I get that through there a second ago? Brute force. Okay. I'm going to put my, oh, maybe, globe back on just because I wanted to push the light more downward as opposed to sending any of it outward. And I am going to tighten my cord. All right, so that is what you now have inside. So this part is where this comes in. Oh, <laughs> have to plug in the hot glue gun for this one because we are gonna hot glue that to that cord. Not prepared, people. That's what happens when you drink in DIY. Don't try this at home. Now I'm having an issue. I don't have enough plugs. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> So that's heating up and we're just going to wait a second. So I think it's going to work pretty good. The part that I don't know how well it's really going to work is going to be gluing the rope to the cord. So this will be fun. All right, so my pro thought process is this. I think I want to start by gluing it to the basket just to make sure it has that almost flush look. And then I'm going to wind my way around the cord and hot glue as I go. I don't know, we'll see. I'm overzealous. Is this done? Are you lying? I like them like this. Why? I don't know. It's not dumb, it's fun. I hope so. You should get me a beer. What? You should go grab me a beer so I don't have to leave frame again. So what I'm doing is I'm just putting a little hot glue on the support piece here and then I'm just holding the rope down and making sure it sticks to it pretty good so that way it, like I said, gives it a slightly cleaner appearance at the start. So, all right. So I just realized again that I lost you guys, but I'm back. So. This is how far I've gotten. Um, and basically what I'm doing is I'm just taking the glue gun, throwing a little glue, glue down on the previous row of rope, wrapping it around, holding it in place for a second, and then moving along. If 
this keeps recording, I'll speed this part of the video up. Does anybody know why your phone would just stop recording? It's not like I told it to. <laughs> Get out of here! The cat thought it was a toy. brother to see my house see that too you know mm -hmm. so my brother just came into town from Hawaii yesterday I haven't seen him in five years five years and uh, nobody told me he was coming so I had to work yesterday I had to work today um, and <laughs> I have plans to go to Gabriella Plants on Saturday for the second Saturday sale. So, you know, and I've made plans with another friend of mine, Terry. She actually has um, an Instagram page where she has some pretty, really good, some pretty good plans. Um, it's at baby plant mama. Um, and make sure you put the underscore in between baby plant and mama. So, common sense, hello, when I say underscore in between. But anyway, um... So I didn't want to cancel on her. I mean, I probably could have to spend some time with my bro, but you know, I'm going to bring him over to my house tomorrow evening. I'm going to show him all my pretty little plants because I like my plants and I'm hyped about them and I want to share it with my brother because I don't get to see him very often and it's something I like to talk about and I know my brother and I know he'll appreciate it. So that's what my plan is for tomorrow hence the reason for doing this tonight anyway it was kind of a surprise a really nice surprise because i like seeing my brother he's a cool guy um we don't get to see each other very often this time it's been five years the time before this it was 10 years and the time before that it was nine so him living in hawaii puts a little bit of a damper on uh you know us visiting each other I wish I made enough money to be able to fly back and forth regularly, but it's like $1,800 per person round trip or something crazy like that. I don't know. It's ridiculous. It's an expensive ticket. Um, unless, of course, you go in the off season. But anyway, it goes. It's not cheap to travel. So I'm really going to enjoy a little bit of time with him. I definitely want to bring him over to my house. Let him see my place. The last time I saw him, it was a very, very short visit. Um, he and my mom kind of, FYI, my mom and I don't have the best relationship. So my mom kind of manipulated his time the last time he was here. And I got to see him for a few minutes. It was cool. I enjoyed it. But, and he's my bro. So I want to visit. Anyway. A little bit about my brother. He's 18 months older than me. He has been living in Hawaii for the last 23, almost 24 years. So, lucky him. Well, let me correct that. He moved back, um, he moved back mainland side over here and he lived in Texas for a while. But Texas is still kind of a little bit of a hike, so we really didn't see each other that much. And I'll be honest, I really wasn't in the position in my life to be able to go visit my brother in Texas. So, just didn't happen. So, 
What do you think so far? I think it's looking really good. I got a little bit further to go because um, I'm going to have part of this up on the hook that holds it from the ceiling and then this kind of traipses over to the shelf which I'll show you a picture of it when I'm done. So I'm just going to shut up, fast forward through and keep working. I'm obviously going to have music going when it's fast forwarding. Yeah, some peppy music and then if it doesn't record all of it and you want to make it longer, you can loop the doing of it over and over again, you know? Yeah. What do you think of it so far? I think you're going to have a little editing and you'll have fun doing it. Is it much brighter, you say? Yes. Yes, it is. That's because it's the next day. As many times as my phone stopped recording last night, I gave up. So, I went ahead and I finished the project. I went out a little earlier today and did a little fun at Gabriella's second Saturday sale. And I'm going to be putting a video up of it next week. However, I did want to take a minute and show you. That's my daughter. She says hi, she hates it. All right, so that is the completed hanger. It is over top of my Monstera. And I think I like it. Honestly, the only thing that I'm thinking I'm gonna wanna do with that is to take the handles off, to be fully honest. So that is it for episode, excuse me, blah, blah. um, <laughs> So that is it for the first edition, edition. You can do it, Mom. So that is it for the first edition of I Drink and I DIY. I did have a little bit fun, uh, a little bit of fun doing this. If I can figure out how to keep my daggum camera from shutting off, then I will do more. So I hope you guys like that. I hoped. It is not a good day. I've been too excited all day, did a lot of plant shopping, got a couple of really great things, which you'll see in my next video. Um, and if you follow me over there at in, on Instagram at Oops I Soiled My Planties, you can see everything that I picked up. I post on Instagram all the time, multiple times a day usually. And uh, yeah, so if you guys like this, give me some comments, leave some stuff down in the comments, even if it's to say, hey, I liked it. That's great. Give this video a thumbs up and uh, we'll catch you again soon. Peace out.